What is going on? I'm Zedmot. That is code Zedmot over there in your creator boost. Do make sure you've got someone in there. Obviously, I prefer if you put Z-M-O-T or Z-M-O-T in there, but... Anyways, while you're in the shop, there are some free diamonds in about this slot. I've already grabbed them, and so they are not showing up for me, but do make sure you go get those free diamonds. Also grab that free trader crate while you're in there. Three reasons to go into that shop. What more do you need? Now, this is going to be one of those Friday mega videos, so do check the chapters. You can skip past any part you don't like, any part you're not interested in. First of all, this account is a unopposed account. That means I will never, ever, ever, ever be raided. If you're interested in that, do check the cards. Be aware there are some downsides. You'll never get Everspark, you'll never get Bullet, and you'll never get Kavon, unless, of course, you open those clouds. But on the plus side, you never lose resources. The only times you get raided are when Hammerman comes or if you lose a resource base, and no one cares about resource bases, let's be honest. But you do have only a few choices to get some resources, the Mega Crab, your submarines, and of course, warships. Bum, 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 bum. So, warships for engine room. You are engine room locked. I would love Supercell to give away that Admiral's Key for free one season. I think it would help our matchmaking issues. I think that it would get more people playing at a higher level. I don't see any downsides to that at all. Give people a taste. Being stuck at four engine rooms means you can't get into diamond right now. You can get to mid-20, and then you start getting matched with six engine room levels and seven engine room levels, and it's a bad time. So I intentionally lost some battles just so I could get some matches against four engine room levels so I can show you guys a couple different strategies. There are lots and lots and lots of troops available at this point in the season. If you scroll, there are... I guess we could show you right there. don't even need to scroll. You can do all sorts of troop combos. I'm going to show you a couple, just in case you guys haven't thought of these things. You probably have, but going to do a couple different hits, because there are many, many ways to attack this season. So, first of all, this one looks like the perfect opportunity to show you. And I'm, by the way, one of the strategies I'm not going to show you is Grenadiers. Grenadiers are just too slow for my liking, so as a result... I'm not going to do them. This is the one that I've been using. It's a little bit faster than Grenadiers, also a little bit more reliable than Grenadiers, but you have to be very careful of mines. Grenadiers have a little bit more health, so don't need quite as much babysitting. We are going to drop two boats over here. We're going to drop Everspark over here. And the reason for that is heavies against cannons, not really much of a fair fight. So we're going to hold off on dropping those heavies until a little tiny, tiny bit later on. And that's going to allow us to just avoid a couple heavies dying. Next up, we're going to clear a couple mines. We are going to throw out a shock on that critter launcher because critter launchers, muddy up the waters. If you don't have critter launchers, you really, really, really should go get some. They do all sorts of great work, and that's part of the reason why we have cryoneers loaded as well. Our cryoneers are going to help slow those critter launchers down, and that's going to allow us to just hug this entire left wall, ignoring all sorts of defenses, and then we should be able to just cruise on in and take out all of the engine rooms, in theory. Now, medkits also fairly vital in this because there is going to be splash damage from all sorts of sides, and then we're just going to keep on shocking, cruising in, making a complete mockery of this base. Cryoneers doing great, great, great things. Heavy standing out front. Zuka's bringing the damage. And these kind of strategies were not available early in the season because people did not use the keys to unlock all of these things but and that is why you did not see YouTube videos on these strategies because no one used them early in the season because they were saving their keys to get to seven engine rooms six engine rooms but look how fast we burned through this person's base zero problems at all I know that early on it was all seekers but give it a shot the other troop combo that you want to use is something like this I am not super great with rocket choppers, and it really depends on the base, but we're going to give it a go just so that I can maybe give get you guys thinking. 
about a couple different ways to attack these things. Now we're going to get like a seven engine room base. The fact that it's been spinning for more than five seconds, click cancel, click return right now if you don't want to get a higher level engine. Oh, we actually did get a four. Amazing. So on this one, their boom cannons are very forward. This is a perfect, perfect opportunity. What we are going to do here is we are going to get rid of of this right here. You're going to get rid of that cannon and that sniper tower and now we are just going to hit it from the back. This is going to be innuendo wise perfect but also we're just going to cruise on up. We're going to let all of our heavies get way out front not getting our rocket choppers out early. If your rocket choppers get out there early you're going to have a very 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 bad time and now we're just going to send them all the way to the back with a couple smokes. This is not crazy difficult smoking your troops back here. This should be fairly straightforward for most people. We're going to wait for our heavies to arrive, hoping that Everspark doesn't hit that boom mine like she just did. And now at this point, it's just like a... We've snuck behind enemy lines. We should be able to get all of the engine rooms, depending if Everspark was alive, this attack would go way, way, way better. But since Everspark has died, we've got a little bit of a problem happening. Just need to keep clearing. Keep clearing and then keep moving on backwards. We've got one more shock that we desperately need. And then we should be able to get at least two of these engine rooms. It all really depends on that cannon though. That cannon needs to go the heck away. So we are going to try to throw an artillery on it. Didn't quite get it. You get the basic idea though. Sneaking to the back, probably wanted to lay Everspark a little bit so she doesn't sit there, but you can imagine how good this attack would be if Everspark wouldn't have hit that boom mine. So lots and lots of great ways to attack these bases. I know if you look at people, they're only getting two engine rooms, they're only getting two engine rooms, they're only getting one engine room. So you can clear their base and lots and lots of people are using Grenadiers and I'm not a big fan. Next up, we are going to do an operation attack. This is doing choke point. This account has many, many, many damage statues. As a result, very, very GBE poor. There are the free diamonds we were talking about. Do make sure you grab those on every single one of your accounts, assuming you only assuming you have more than one. Also, make sure you get that creator boost. It is a pain every seven days. I wish they would extend that. Adds extra stress to everyone, but it is what it is. We are going to switch to Bullet. And by the way, if you only have one account, I highly recommend getting a second account to that 10... What is that called? What am I trying to say? To HQ level 10. I believe it's level 10 for warships. Might be level 7. Anyways, we are going to jump in. We're going to attack Ransom. Hoping that we... See, on Ransom, I desperately, desperately need to farm some gunboat energy. That is where these bombardiers are going to come in. If you only have a couple GBE statues, you need to farm some gunboat energy. It is a requirement. Oh no, mortars making a mockery of my attack. Now, we're going to clear this mine right here. And then we're going to throw a barrage back here. And then we are going to crush this core. If you've never seen this attack done before, then please, please let me know. I will give you all of the Coles notes or Cliff notes. I think Coles notes is Canadian and Cliff notes is American. I don't know. Anyways, whatever the yellow books, I doubt they still exist these days. You just ask ChatGPT to tell you all of the details and write your report for you. So you don't even need to read books anymore, I suppose. Speaking of books, I like to ramble. For those of you new to the channel, it's kind of my thing. Some people like it, some people don't. I highly recommend watching my videos on one and a half times mode, simply because it gets you through some of this stuff a little bit faster, and I find that watching Boom Beach videos on one and a half times mode is more the speed that I'd prefer to watch it, and I find that it just flows a little bit better. Um, I'm kind of tempted to throw a video up already pre-sped up, probably a bad idea. I think people would uh, riot. But uh, getting some gunboat energy, and if you've never used bombardiers or a different troop to farm gunboat energy, keep an eye on that clock up the top there as I try and zoom in on the clock, which doesn't work, of course. You want to leave the shore with a minute 45 left. That is a good general rule of when the heck to leave the shore. And 
it kind of sucks because watching replays of these attacks takes forever. You gotta sit here and watch the boring stuff. But on the plus side, whoever comes in next, all of these defenses have been cleared. So even if I completely and utterly suck, every one of those buildings is gonna do about 5,000 damage to core. And we are clearing the shore for the next attacker. So if I suck, I suck. That is what it is. But we are clearing the shore, getting some extra gunboat energy, and saving ourselves from having to boost, which is pretty darn great. We're going to let that bombardier die, which is perfect. We are going to flare over. I'm a little bit late, which is making me a little bit nervous. I was hoping for that bombardier to die. We're going to let that one get out front, and as soon as they get past this line, we can start dropping our Zookas, getting our troops out there. We're going to let that bombardier die. Getting it to die is great. Need bullet. Uh-oh, I've already made a mistake. Bullet was supposed to be dropped early, but as a result, we need to throw an extra artillery because otherwise we are going to lose way too many troops. Need bullet out front. Get going, bullet. Maybe a med kit. Ugh. That was almost very, very, very bad. And now we're actually going to flare a defense. If you've never flared a defense in operations, if you have by accident, I'm with you. I've done that many times myself. But flaring a defense on Machina, on Machina, or on Ransom is a ridiculously amazing way to attack operations. You just need to know where you're going with it. Getting that smoke out there right there to get bullet in the right position. And now we are going to flare the core. We are going to be very, very, very low on time here, as you can tell. We are hopefully not going to lose by five seconds. If we do, I'm going to be very, very sad as our smoke is just going forever. We should be... Look how fast that core melts, though. Like, all of these Zookas doing so much damage. Come on, dudes. Let's go. Need to get this puppy down. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> that could not have gone more perfectly time-wise. That was danger, danger, danger. And I would show you all of the mechanics of the taunt and what's happening, and but it would take too long to show that replay. So pretty darn stoked. Drama, drama, drama. Getting that ransom down with no statues glowing. So Bombardier's unlocking all sorts of extra stuff. We're going to get... See, this is, this is why I have two powders. So, unboosted choke point, all sorts of good stuff. Doing unboosted attacks all the way up to deep cut. Very, very doable. Jumping over to different account number three. This account has all sorts of gunboat energy statues. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's got at least a couple more hidden somewhere away, which really, really helps with unboosted attacks as well. You don't need to throw those bombardiers out there. We are going to do the imitation game just to see if we can do imitation game with zero troops. Generally speaking, max level players can do that without any issues at all. Also, we're going to have a look to see if there are any critter launchers on Imitation Game. I have this feeling that Imitation Game is stuck in the past, that it has not been updated. Would love to eat crow or eat my words or be wrong or whatever the heck that expression is, because no critter launchers just shows how far behind the, day, the weekly cycle of evil has become. Also, Really, really hoping to see Critter Launchers on the Mega Crab, because I feel like that would completely and utterly change the game. Kind of like throwing Grapplers on the Mega Crab, but so far, nothing doing. Maybe they need to... Let me know in the comments, do you think they need an extra stage? Do you think they need to bring in the leaderboard players? What would make Imitation Game interesting for you? Maybe you want it to be easy, because that way you can guarantee yourself that you just barrage the entire thing and don't have to think about it. I definitely need to spend more time thinking about it, as you can tell by the fact that I used way too many barrages there. But Stage 4, easy peasy, and this is exactly why we have chapters. For those of you who have seen this a bajillion times, just skip on by, cruise past, doesn't matter whatsoever. Now, one other quick detail that I should have spent a little bit more time on in my video yesterday is 
Discord, Discord, Disc. Oh, look at this. We're going to run into some GBE issues. We're going to throw some critters back there. Also, we do have the explosive drones, which I suppose we could throw you about there. Throw your explosive drones inside smoke. That way they have a chance to land and do their whole unfreeze thing, and then they can actually do some damage. We're going to get a little bit of damage here in about 3, 2, 1, now. Boom. Actually, a little bit more than a little bit, whatever the heck you want to call that. So we're going to do that one more time. We're going to have a little race off. Those explosive drones in the smoke versus these critters back here. Every building doing a little tiny percentage of damage. There is, you can actually do the math on that, by the way. All of the buildings do 70% of damage towards core, so you can actually calculate how much damage each building is going to do. I've got a video on that as well. Basically, if there's something that exists in Boom Beach, I've got a video on it is what it kind of comes down to. So hit me up, ask me questions. I would love to direct you towards things, drop some knowledge bombs, and we are doing all right so far. We're going to keep dropping our artilleries, trying to get some extra buildings down. The fact is, this is probably not going to go down with just barrage and artillery. So we're probably going to fail this stage, and we're going to have to see if maybe, maybe, maybe we can get down the next stage. This one's got no free gunboat energy, so it's going to come down to you, my friends, explosive drones. If you want to cheat a little bit, you can also drop bullet up front. That can get you a little bit of extra gunboat energy. Losing troops on imitation game as a max level player, not really all that required at this point. We're going to retreat right now, though, because bullets standing there getting shot in the face by the shock blaster is not benefiting anyone. If I lose imitation game, so be it. Getting quick intel for my task force, also getting some quick resources for myself. As you can tell by the fact that my accounts are like XP70 and XP66 and things like that, not a lot of priority put on these accounts. I literally barrage as many things as I can, I destroy NPCs, and then I do an operation attack. All of the task forces that I'm at realize that I am not going to be an intel beast, but I will help with notes, I will solo an operation base, and that's enough for them. So, this day in imitation game, you cannot barrage all the stages, which is a little bit unfortunate, but also, I like that. The fact that you actually have to drop troops is a bit of a relief, so we're going to leave that behind. Moving on forwards, that's enough imitation game for the day. Just need to make sure that we keep our submarine diving, because those classified items, so, so useful if you can find them. Okay, on to the main event, or like the, whatever's before the main event. The Anyways, this is my lower of my two good warships. It has little, little bits of defenses. No sniper towers, no boom mines, no choice node. Finally went back and got mortars. That was one of my first steps. Also, getting the uh, critter launchers. Also have gone all the way to the end, end, end of the tree. So, if you're going to go there, make sure you get this gunboat energy before you get that gunboat energy. We're going to drop some troops. I'm going to try a couple silly attacks. This one I really don't care about. Uh, as long as I can get it to 22.5, I believe is the cutoff. I should be okay. Oh, first time I've seen a grappler. That's kind of interesting. So which side do we want to go? We want to go... That engine room is right of center, so we're going to go right. I am going to drop my heavy chopper. I'm going to drop all of these puppies. Then we're going to drop this cryobomb and get our friend Mr. Kavon out there to bring... Oh, there goes Kavon. Yeah, Kavon. Giving out some extra troops. Did not think that through at all. That was poorly done on my part. But so far, we are clearing all of the things I'm worried about. I am going to clear these mines and these mines, and then we are going to clear that. That should get us all the things we need on that left-hand side. That is why I am holding off on the critters. Kind of nice, though. We managed to get rid of that boom cannon, which is going to pay dividends for us as well. As we throw shocks out there, we have lost many, many, many things, but we are still in a decent spot 
Now, this attack strategy isn't one that I would really, really recommend to too many people. There are a lot, lot of things going on here, and I screw it up more often than not. So, we are now going to drop all of these Seeker dudes on this left-hand side hoping and praying that we can get all of them to get you know what we're gonna flare you back into there that should get that one safe then we are gonna throw a smoke on about there getting our seekers moving towards that back section is all we really need at this moment throwing that shock out there and that shock out there as that back back rocket launcher does all sorts of good stuff are we gonna get 22 gunboat energy that is the question here though we are not going to get 22 gunboat energy. There we go. There's our gunboat energy. So as soon as they start moving, out come the shocks. Oops, I just threw a barrage. Oof. So, is this attack strategy foolproof? No. If you're going to throw a barrage when you're trying to throw a shock, you are going to have a bad time. Also, I would highly, highly recommend getting more gunboat energy if you're going to try this strategy out because as you saw there, we made so many mistakes and, but we're still kind of, sort of in the running. Somehow, some way, we're about to lose our last rocket choppa. I am going to retreat. That was an embarrassment. Not a great attack, but... Again, this is kind of why I like to have... And by the way, I've now shown two bad attacks and one good attack. So we're going to have to balance that out a little bit. But I like the fact that I have this account to try things on. And then I go to my other account, which is higher up. And I don't have to worry that much about winning or losing or trying things out. So uh, it's okay to lose, I guess, is where I'm trying to go with that. Um and I think I started to touch on it, but do jump into Discord, get a screen share going, share your screen with some peoples, you will get good results, you will like what comes of it. Now we're just going to go like this. Um, I re and by the way, I am fully, fully aware that I am not a good player when it comes to using rocket choppas. I am screwing up all sorts of things I probably should be flaring onto there. And then we're going to flare somewhere into here to get away from that Doom Cannon. Now we should be in a little bit better spot, I feel like. But again, then we get into the Boom Cannons back here. So um, I make so, so many mistakes with these troops that you should not be trusting me for strategies of how to use them. Just take the suggestion of adding some Seekers in and go from there. You're probably already doing it. But figured I'd throw it out there. Anyways, let's go. We're going to get this right-hand side going. Going to throw some critters there. Throw some shocks into about there. Getting our Seekers moving. Letting that back left-hand side work independently. Trusting them. Not micromanaging them. And then getting that tough, tough shock, which I love that I actually hit it for once in my life. So we can get our Seekers out here right in the middle of all of those shock launchers just so that we can watch them die a terrible horrible death now one thing is if you notice we threw a smoke onto those um what am i trying to say onto those seekers and as a result we managed to get all of the critters from the critter launchers to run the heck away which can be fairly useful as well this is not going super well. I feel like this is probably my worst two attacks ever on this account, but I'm glad you guys are here to see them. So, a little bit of a pluses and minuses. Let's get you onto there. Let's throw a shock about there. And then, hopefully, we can get this next engine room and then get the heck out of dodge before our opponent can finish. Are we going to win? I'm very, I'd be very, very, very surprised if we do. But there is still a chance. You're saying there's a chance. Whatever his name is, Christmas, uh, Lloyd Christmas, we're going to lose. I'm going to retreat. Let's get the heck out of here. Okay, here's the actual main event. Sitting in New Zealand at number two. Mac it falling down. Death cometh jumping on up. Let's go. We've got two chests available. Now, quick note, I really, really, really need a new base, but I'm not going to subject you guys to a new base. I've got this Doom Cannon. I don't know where to put it. I am at the very, very end of the tree. 
more gunboat energy probably coming up next and then going back and getting that set of extra cannons and things let's see what we can do here trying to finish this on a bang instead of a whimper do let me know what you think about these longer videos with many many things mixed in operation attacks pvp daily events all of the things so what do we have we've got Where's your next shock launcher at? At the very back left? Okay. This rocket launcher right here is going to be a problem if we go left. So I'm going to go right, hoping that we can get all of the things into this neighborhood. We're going to get Kavon into about there. Then we're going to go all the way across something like that. I am very, very late on my cryo bombs. As a result, that right hand side, you know what? That right hand side mortar didn't do the damage I thought it was going to do. So that's kind of a nice little bonus. We've got way too many troops going early to that left hand side, though. So we are just going to write them off. A little bit of a sad moment there. Should be able to cruise in the middle of here. We're going to clear those mines because my cryo bomb's not going to reach. And then need to throw a shock this left hand side is in a world of pain right hand side doing fairly well as long as that shock mine does not ruin my life let's get rid of that there shock launcher and now we can hopefully 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 get rid of this should have thrown a shock but i didn't have the gunboat energy at that point let's go right there decent spread here groups doing well babysitting the front we talked about the blind side yesterday for those of you on the video. Blind side, S protect your weakest side. Getting this front engine room is more valuable than saving like two troops at that back right. So this is not going as perfectly as I would have liked, but the fact remains we should be able to use our gunboat energy on that front right engine room as our troops spread along. Kavon has died. Honestly, Kavan has died for me like twice this season. I have not had a better season as far as keeping Kavan alive. Mr. Mackett was saying that he's had a terrible time with Kavan. Um, I've had a great season with Kavan until right now. So none of my attacks going super well. And part of the reason for that is typically I will not throw out five different attack strategies all at the same time. I will generally try to spend a little bit of time in between each strategy just so that I don't mix up four different strategies and four different tech trees and yeah so we are going to lose and we are going to lose badly but we're going to grind through this retreating would be nice to our opponent but we have no desire to be nice we need to get all of these engine rooms bit by stinking little bit and now i'm gonna flare back away from that shock mine away from that flamethrower and then we're just gonna get our artillery out and finally finally finish off this base not pretty not good not even fast so uh not we kind of went 0 for 3 on that one warming up he's oh wow we actually almost kind of could have won that Reminder, see again, reminder, this base has defenses, the other base not so much. Getting that mindset from rushing to just chilling out a little bit. We're going to do better here, I promise. And if not, then you guys can laugh at me. Okay, beep breath. I want to go right because there's more engine rooms back there. I want to go left because there's a better spread going to happen. We're going to go right. So, as we go, one, two, three, Kavan in the middle, second wind, and then out come the ladies. I'm going to throw a shock here. Not super comfortable with that right left-hand side, simply because I just don't see many, many good things happening there. Lots and lots and lots of things on that left-hand side, so we are going to keep shocking some things. 
keeping this doom cannon from wrecking things as our troops spread in a little... Actually, we've got a decent spread happening right now. Anytime you don't have to use flares, you're going to have a good attack. The only problem is back here. We're going to try to shock that stuff, trying to get that back back rocket launcher gone because if we can get that down that's going to give us an even better chance to get that back section now where do we need to get some things we need to clear some mines in about here Ugh, poorly poorly placed actually cryobomb was decently placed in that instance for once in my life this back right hand side that one laser ranger is doing great great things for us now we just need to slow that Doom Cannon down. And I did not throw things in the right spot, so we are not going to slow it down all that terribly, terribly much. I mean, look at this, though. We're at 231. Keeping troops alive, getting off the beach, paying huge dividends. Like, this is gone fairly darn well. That one Laser Ranger, look how much damage it has done to that back back engine room and now we should in theory i'm hoping that back engine room blows up before we even get to it like we're gonna burn through all of this stuff and it went down early all thanks to you right there laser ranger good time but was it good enough time Ugh. we did booyah two minutes four seconds 17 stars that is a great great number Moving up bit by stinking little bit. And for once in my life, look at this. We have the exact right amount of keys to do something good. This base is not great. It is like four or five days old. I'll show you the base just in case you want to copy it. That is the base right there in case you want to copy it. I'll zoom in as far as I can. Right about there in case you want to copy it. I doubt you do. Um, also, I don't know how many people are this far in the tree. I think I'm sitting on the global leaderboard somewhere. I wish you could scroll to yourself, but we just have to look for that bluish line. If there is a way to scroll to yourself, please let me know. Am I on there? 24, 24, 24, 23. Ooh, it's going to be tight. It's going to be very, very tight. Did we? Oh, we are 404. 40th, and I recognize zero of those names around me, so no shoutouts today. Um, if I go 34, I can get 24 on my next chest, so we're going to get that gunboat energy. We are going to max that out. That is going to give us all sorts of more cryo bombs. Let me know in the comments if you would have gone to Barrage. On my other account with Barrage, I found that I just haven't been using it because I'm too focused on doing 400 other things so maybe this maybe I should have gone barrage there but at least I think we're like three and two or, or sorry two and three right now so if we can pull out the win right here I'm gonna call it a day this video has now gone over 30 minutes long long video I know there are many people out there who have tuned out long before this. If you have made it this far, do please comment. Let me know that you like these longer videos because you are, I feel like, the minority. If I watch like the average watch time, it gets to like seven minutes or something like that, and then it drastically falls off. So for those of you who stuck around, thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to seeker this base so badly. Everything in my body is screaming to seeker this base. But, and with this extra gunboat energy, maybe I could pull it off? Ugh. Do we do it or do we not do it? Let's see here. Do you, re you know what? I'm going to seeker this thing. Uh, I am probably going to regret it, but I feel like if I go something like this... I can do all sorts of good stuff here. So we're going to go... Ugh, this is a bad idea. Do I have Seekers? Yeah, sorry, brain. Just uh, my so many things entering my head right now. We are going to go like this. I'm going to drop that one rocket chopper to start with. Hoping... Oh, I was really hoping it would get rid of that critter launcher first, but it did not. Not the end of the world. We are still doing all sorts of good stuff here. Then we are going to drop this... Then we are going to drop Kavon. 
And I'm going to throw this cryo bomb out there, and now we are going to flare onto there. Is this silly? Yes, probably. But I really, really, really am sick and tired of seeing these bases. And as a result, we are just going to give it our darndest to try to get all of this stuff down. Now that that's down, we are going to head over into there. I'm going to throw another cryo bomb into there. And then shocking, we have all sorts of gunboat energy. It's kind of impressive just how much gunboat energy we have. Things are starting to go a little bit more smoothly. Need to get that flare back out there. Come on, dudes. Come on, dudes. Let's go. Getting our seekers on top of need that oh darn need to throw a smoke out right about there need to get our seekers in to the protected area i don't know that we're going to have enough gunboat energy to get through all of this but maybe just maybe we can sneak away before that engine room come on get that engine room down now here's the problem, I can't actually shock that shock launcher, I don't think so, we are going to lose. I need to perfect that hit, I feel like that hit on this base would be the way to go, but as you saw there, just not quite there. Probably should have farmed a couple more heavies before flaring, also probably should have done 400 other things, but working on different attacks, not the greatest idea when you're trying to move up. But at the same time, if I can perfect that, we can move up and laugh at all of the Laser Ranger players. Um, I'm going to end this video right there. It's been a long, long day hanging out with you all you. I probably should do a live stream soon. Um, we've got something new happening in the video box. Do look for my video in there. I'm going to throw this video in there. I feel like the longer video has a place there little bit more vague. I feel like all of the videos that go in that inbox are very, very pointed and very focused, and this video is the exact opposite of that, and I think that that's kind of needed. A little bit of focus on the main game. Let's do one more. Screw it. I'm mid-ramble. Let's go. We're going to get that right there. I'm going to claim... We're going to go get two more cannons. That's going to help us defend a little bit better against rocket choppers. Where? Oh, where? I'm going to put you into this back corner. We got a little gap there. And then where else can I put you? I can put you... Let's put you back in here. We're going to put you by that shock launcher just out of range. Let's go like this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wanting to get out of the range where they can shock the boom cannon and the cannon. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put you into there. Forget it. Let's go up there. A little bit of extra oomph up front. Maybe forcing people to go left. Maybe. Let's see what kind of time Wides had. What did you have for a time? You were about 120, I think that ends up being. Something along those lines. Should have won. Should have just done. See, like... It's those kind of times where you know you can beat those times that Seekers was a terrible idea. I don't know. I don't care. Let's go. Um, this, yeah, I'm a little lost for words. Should have won. Should have got a second coffee before we did this video. Regardless, we're having fun. You and I. By the way, that video yesterday got a bunch of you onto the Discord whether it be Boom Beach or mine, which is great. Love to chat in various, various places. Also, it's a great way to get into our task force group if you're interested in such a thing. They want us to go right. I'm going to go right. Um, that rocket launcher at the front will be a bit of a pain, but not that bad. Oops, whoa, 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 whoa. This is my problem. I also forget to change my troops back. Outside, middle, right... Kavon, second wind, cryobomb, let's go, getting all of the ladies out there, again, shocking that front, front mortar, because I am overly, overly cautious, and then we're going to throw that in there, throwing this on the left-hand side, and then clearing some mines in the meantime, one, two, three, four, getting some damage on flotsams, because I am 
very, very, very cautious when it comes to Flotsam's. And then another cryo bomb back here because there are too many doom cannons involved that we need to get rid of some of them. Decent. Decent spread so far. Everything kind of going as I would like it to. And now we'll get a shock back here just to be sure that those couple dudes survive. Critters on there. That's a perfect spot for critters. Come on, that's going to distract the... Uh, shock launcher, the doom cannon, and that um, machine gun can't even see what's happening to it. So we're getting all sorts of value out of all sorts of things. Need to get an engine room down. There we go. So we can get some extra troops coming back. Mr. Kavon doing all sorts of good stuff. Would have preferred a little bit better spread towards that front. Not getting a heck of a lot of value there, but we're still doing okay. This is not... The space is doing far better against us than I would like it to do. Let's get rid of that Doom Cannon. Artillery, Gonzo. See, I wasted way, way, way too much GBE on that front, front flotsam. And as a result, we're having some difficulties getting all of this stuff down. Heavy spreading. We're in a decent spot. Not a great spot. I'm probably going to lose. We are going to be below two minutes yet again. Not a great spot to be... Also, should have been babysitting that right-hand side. Is it right? Is it bottom? Let's get a shock there. Trying to keep these last few ladies alive so that we can get some faster damage on that engine room. Our opponent has stalled out a little bit, though. Let's go. Let's go. Shocking here, just because we don't want to deal with that... Ugh, we're going to lose. Come on. Actually, we did spend some time changing troops, though. Come on, dudes. Let's go end this on a dramatic oh-my-god moment for at least our opponent watching watching that timer. Come on. We are going to be so close here, I think. I think we're going to lose, but it's going to be closer than you would have thought simply because we spent a bunch of time changing some troops out. You can't assume you're going to win with a 118 time, though. Bulkhan, what did you do for us? 137. Ugh, yuck. Went back for more, and that was not the right. Well, we're doing another one. I don't care. This is when I'm on tilt. We are making mistakes. I do not want to leave on a losing note, even if it means that we have to stay here all frickin' day. Hour-long video. Let's go. By the way, did I mention um, you should throw code ZMOD in? Let's throw that up the top there right there we'll get one revolution of that interesting very 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 interesting i have not seen this base before and it seems like it's like it seems like it's terrible am i wrong here uh we're just gonna i'm gonna drop three boats heavy choppers on that front mortar. We're going to drop Kavan, and I'm going to throw an artillery on it, and then we're going to drop all of this stuff over here, and we're going to kind of flare into this neighborhood, throw a cryo bomb into there, and then just let our ladies go buck wild on this stuff. Um, it seems like this should be work very, very well. I don't know if that's actually going to be the case or not, but we don't need to come at it from the side. Coming, I mean, from the front, we're going to come from the side, and I think this is going to do many, many, many good things. Again, I haven't seen this base before, but it just seems like we should be able to crush it without any issues whatsoever. Every time I say that, I tend to make mistakes, though, so we're just going to have to wait and find out. We've got a decent spread happening. We've got some critters out. We've got some heavy choppers out. I'm clearing that mine back there. Second winding on top of all this stuff. And then front doing well. Middle doing great. Back doing well. Everything's kind of going exactly as I hoped it would. Um, just need to get rid of this front engine room fairly quickly, as quickly as we possibly can. As everyone cruises along that back, this is... I, I don't understand that base at all, to be completely honest. I'm kind of afraid they've got some, like, super ninja stealth attack they're going to throw towards us. 
Let's get it down just like that. 2 minutes 23 seconds. What are they doing for an attack? Nothing fancy. Odd. Odd. Given that right-hand wall was just the exact opening we were looking for, it also means we are going to pull out the win. I can end the video. I got a huge sneeze coming. That, I'm kind of happy with, actually I'm a lot bit happy with that. I love seeing different bases. The fact that we didn't rinse and repeat, we got to mix in a different attack strategy, got to use a flare for once in our life, and um, good good things happen in there so hopefully you enjoyed this mega super extreme video lots and lots of things were covered lots of mistakes were made you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs though is someone so, something someone once said and uh raft raft raftek is uh definitely breaking a few eggs here i think they are not going to get all of our engine rooms down. We might even end up giving out a fizzle, which is worth its weight in gold as well. Anytime you can get someone to fizzle is a great, great time. That Doom Cannon, that Flotsam just doing work, absolutely crushing out the heavies. And one thing, on my retreat, watch this. Doom Cannon, oh, I didn't actually get a shot off. My The Doom Cannon on a previous attack did not do any damage to Kavan, which is a little bit odd there. So, anyways, we got the win. Doing good things. I think we ended up exactly where we started out, which isn't ideal, but at least we did something. Glad you guys were here for it. Thank you for coming in. Code Zedmont, like, share, subscribe, all those YouTube-y things. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. Peace!